I'm gonna show you the hardware, the software I use, how to hook it up and get you started live streaming and recording your gameplay. Let's go. All right, so these are the tools I use. I use the Elgato Game Capture HD60S, two HDMI cables, Logitech HD Pro webcam, and an Insignia 4 port USB 3.0 hub. Then I have a Blue Yeti USB condenser mic. And for the lighting, I have a 10 inch LED ring light, USB input. And just for some effects sometimes, I use color light bulbs in the backdrop. Okay, now let's hook everything up. I start with the Elgato Game Capture. On one side, it has the input for auxiliary cord, HDMI cord, and a USB-C cord. And on the other side, it has an output for an HDMI cord. And the Elgato Game Capture comes with a USB to USB-C cord with it. First, you wanna input the USB-C to USB cord into the input. And then the other end, the USB part into the computer. You use the first HDMI cord, plug that into the input. Then the other side of that into your console, which I'm using a PlayStation. Then you turn it over and you plug in HDMI to the output. And then the other end of that cord into the monitor. And it should look like this when you're done. You got the game console and the computer, the input, the monitor, and the output, and you're good to go. You get your camera, get your microphone, plug those into the USB, pop on that computer, and download the software. And what I use is Streamlabs. I found them to be very easy. Streamlabs does everything I needed to do. You can live stream to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and more. So I recommend it, especially if you're starting out. There's plenty of tutorials online to help you if you need it. And the tutorials are simple enough. And this is everything that you can get just for signing up for free. Then they have a monthly memberships that you can do also. But the free one does justice, especially if you're starting out. It gives you a lot. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. So once you download Streamlabs and open it up, it should look like this. Yeah, at the bottom you have scenes, sources, and mixer. We're just gonna focus on the sources and the mixers. Okay, we're gonna start off with the audio. We're gonna go to where it says mixer, the little options cog over here. Open that up, mic aux, where it says device. Click on that drop down menu and find your microphone, which mine is the Yeti. I'll go to that, click on it, close that box, and you'll start to receive audio on your microphone. There should not be any issues. If there is, you put it in the comments section below. See if I can help you out with that. But everything should be good there. And then we move on to the video setup. So we can capture your video game. So you want to go to where it says sources, click the plus sign. That box opens up. There's a lot there that you can do, but we just want to stick with video capture device. Click add source. So it asks you to add new source and you can name it. We're going to name this one console. Click add source. So this menu will come up, click on device, game capture HD 60 S. I know it says Elgato screen link there, but our capture card is the HD 60S. So you click on that and then your game will appear. All right, let's get your face cam set up because some people like to have a face in the videos. So go to sources, click the plus sign, video capture device, click add source, add a new source instead. I'm gonna ask you to name it. We're gonna name this face cam. Then click add source, device, HD Pro webcam, whichever webcam you're using. Then bam, there you go, your face pops up. Click on it, you can resize it. Put it anywhere on the screen that you want it to be. You can put it in the middle of the screen if you want. Just block everything. And then it's time to go live. And going live is not difficult at all. Bottom right corner, big blue box glowing that says go live. Go in and click on that bad boy. This menu will pop up. This is set up for your Twitch. Like I said, you can do Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and more. The title in the category is mandatory, so once you fill that out, Go ahead and click confirm and go live. A few seconds, wow, you'll be live. See your screen, it looks something like this. And this is like the most basic looks. This is videos about how to get you started as fast as possible. And this is it. Once you can at least get here, then we can go back and start messing with all the other tools that Streamlabs have. And this is how my page looks right now. I just like to have a themes around the screen that deal with the game that I'm playing. So I hope this helps y'all get started because sometimes that's all you need to do is just to get started, get the ball rolling. This is a fast way to do that. And Streamlabs has a lot to offer that'll help you market yourself. There's a lot of other stuff you can do with it, podcasting as well. Until next time, stay royal, stay loyal. Peace out.